What is good everybody today we are back with a brand new discussion style video man today you guys know that I love getting on here discussing my thoughts and talking about things and this is a video or a topic that I've discussed in previous videos shortly like a little bit but today we're going to fully dive into it we're going to discuss all of my thoughts on it you can let me know down in the comment section below and of course you know not it's not always about just my opinion right everybody has their own opinion and that's why we vote on these things I mean that's just kind of how it is right I mean that's just the tail of the tape right there but I wanted to get into this today because it kind of crossed my mind and I'm trying to remember what triggered this exactly but I think it was because I was working on a custom or a figure or something for surgery and it just popped in my head again I was like man I gotta make a video on this so we're gonna talk about it a little bit today man we're gonna talk about the fan takeover series everybody knows about the fan takeover series if you guys don't know what the fan takeover series is it was introduced a number of years ago and it was basically the WWE elite or ultimate fan takeover series and it was a, I think it all started off or it may still continue it is is a, it's an Amazon exclusive wave, but it all started off with some elites where they take the fan takeover idea and they turn it into they turn it into a democracy. They turn it into a voter series right here where we're, we're all involved in damn Taboo Tuesday and we all get to vote on the attire that we want of a specific superstar. We've seen it over the years of different elite figures. We've seen Johnny Gargano. We've seen X-Pac. We've seen Adam Cole, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton. We got into the Ultimate Editions. We've seen a number of those now. We got to vote on those and everything like that. Jeff Hardy, Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg, Triple H, Hulk Hogan. Seen it over the time. But the newest one, the next one that we're going to see, outside of the newest Seth Rollins figure that we reviewed on the channel a week ago, I think, or a week or two ago, which was the 2024 Ultimate Edition, we have the 2025 Ultimate Edition Mattel WWE Fan Takeover John Cena exclusive. And we probably won't even see this figure in prototype form until WrestleMania, unfortunately. But this figure right here, man, I discussed it a little bit, but I wanted to talk about it again. I want to know down below. And I don't think that we've been wrong every time, but there's a number of times we've been wrong. But this one, to me is the most wrong that we've been. So this figure right here is the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Cena. And you guys know that I am a Cena guy. I, I, lo I love John Cena. He's my GOAT. I think that, you know, all of his figures to me matter. I have the ridiculous collection over there. And so I wanted to take time to talk about this figure a little bit here today in this video. And we'll talk about some other figures as well. But this one specifically, and maybe you can relate to this on a different Fan Takeover or a different figure or, or something of that nature. But this figure right here, man, this figure is based off of WrestleMania 20. So when he took on the Big Show, he won the U.S. Championship. This was one of my favorite matches to watch as a kid, actually, believe it or not. This matchup was always fun watching, and I remember this taking place. The WrestleMania 20 is one of my favorite WrestleManias of all time. However, this figure right here, this was one of the selections. This is one of the selections that we got, and we, I want to go through the selections so that we understand why this is a big deal. So our three selections were WWE WrestleMania 20 2004, we had WWE WrestleMania 23 from 2007, and then we had WrestleMania 20 26 from 2010. So here's our three selections right here. And obviously, I'm very glad that the WrestleMania 26 version didn't win. I'll start off with that. I think that that figure or that attire for me never was a big fan of that attire. It's actually one of my least favorite John Cena attires of all time. So I'm very happy that that one did not win. I don't think upgrading the Elite figure would be anything that I would care about. Now, it, it is a time and place. I think that, you know, it deserves its spot on the shelf for that time being. But I don't really want an ultimate edition form. If they released it, I would buy it, but it's not one of those things where it's something I'd search out, right? I think that the, the elite figure suffices. We don't need to see anything else. Okay, WrestleMania 23 from 07 when he took on Shawn Michaels. This figure, believe it or not, has already been done, and, and we're going to get into this. So, the WrestleMania 26 Elite, or the Ultimate Edition they were trying to give us, that has already been done in elite form. This figure, the WrestleMania 23 version, has already been done in elite form. We saw it in the WrestleMania 34 Elite Wave, and that figure is so damn bummy son that figure is just terrible that figure is terrible and i can i can i can undress it from the head down if we want to and we probably will in this video but that is the second choice but the choice that won was wrestlemania 20 2004 now i want to know maybe in people's heads I, i'm un, i'm trying to grasp probably why the wrestlemania 20 version won it's for a couple different reasons i would imagine i would imagine that they probably picked it because it's doctor of thugonomics john cena they probably picked it because they believed okay we've already seen the other two in elite form so why not give us something different? You could argue that we've seen this kind of, I mean, if you look at the different Doctor of Thugonomics or different John Cena elites we've seen over the years, the defining moments is kind of similar to this. The decade of domination is kind of similar to this. 
So I could see where people may have thought, you know, we may we haven't seen this exact look. We have actually in a basic form, believe it or not. We have seen this in basic form, but it was it was very early on. We hadn't seen it with all the bells and whistles. But if you look at this figure, man, this figure is not going to have all the all the bells and whistles that people think, right? It's gonna come with a hat, it's gonna come with a jersey, it's gonna have removable armbands, it's gonna have all those things. But the thing about it is the armbands, they're not gonna have accurate logos because they all have these, you know, these different trademarked and licensed logos that Mattel cannot do. They, this jersey, just like other jerseys they've done for John Cena in the past, like his Defining Moments figures of the past, well, they are not going to be able to put the exact logos on there. They'll probably put the 33 on there, but they are not going to be able to put New York on there. I highly doubt they're going to be able to put New York on there. It's probably going to say John Cena on the back or Cena, or Cena on the back in some way. And then his hat is supposed to be a Mitchell and Ness hat. It is not going to have the Mitchell and Ness logo. So it's all going to be blank. And I guess that's not the biggest deal because people will think, okay, I can just get a decal and slap it on there. I can get a custom jersey. I can do all those things. Good luck with the wristbands doing that. But I think that, you know, I, I, I just don't think that this was the right choice because, and I'm going to go into why I don't think this is the right choice, but it is a John Cena. It's a John Cena that I'm going to purchase. Absolutely. I will be purchasing this John Cena, but I do think that it was a miss. This is a missed opportunity in my opinion, and I'll go into why. So going back to the WrestleMania 23 version, we have seen it in elite form, but the hat and the arm graphics were very, very just not detailed. I mean, there was two colors. There's supposed to be like four or five different color palettes in this in this camo pattern. They only gave us two. The armband logos were really small and short. They weren't even really, I mean, they looked like one wrist tape. It looked very terrible. The hat color, like we discussed, is terrible. The shirt was way too small. It fit ridiculously tiny. It looked like he was wearing a damn Baby Gap t-shirt. So, those are all things right there. And I again, this is the only green shorts John Cena Elite that we have ever seen. We have never seen another John Cena Elite with green shorts. This is the only one that we have seen. And it has the old John Cena shoe mold. So if you think, okay, if we if they made this an Ultimate Edition form, it, everything would be upgraded. They would upgrade this figure significantly. I bet they'd give us a non-Velcro shirt possibly. We could have, you know, sculpted on armbands that were accurate in color. They could redo the hat. They could redo all these things that they missed. The only thing good about that WrestleMania 34 Elite was the head sculpt. It was a very solid head sculpt that I enjoyed, but... I think everything else could have been redone, and then that could have led to us getting, you know, taking that that fan takeover ultimate. You could use that as a base, and then make other Cenas using other parts from other Ultimate Edition Cenas. But now that we are getting this WrestleMania 20 version, not that you can't use it as a base, because you absolutely could. I, I don't see how you couldn't. I think that you know it's just going to be missing so many key details to the attire that it's just not going to be worth the fan takeover submission right there. Which I don't know. I think that getting the redo of the WrestleMania. 23 would have been better, man. I just think that I believe that to my core, and I voted for the WrestleMania 23. I know that it, it didn't win, obviously, for or I wouldn't be making this video, but, you know, Randy Orton's up next, and I, I don't think they even reveal the, they don't even reveal the, the poll results. They don't even reveal the results, man. They just get out there and do it, and then we show up, and it's like, oh, that one won. That's kind of how it is, but I guarantee the newest Orton, it'll probably be the WrestleMania 20 Orton that wins. I bet it won't be, you know, the 2017 Mania. WrestleMania 33 Orton, which was the WrestleMania 33 that one probably probably needed to win because, by God, that figure was terrible, too. The WrestleMania Elite was terrible back in the day. The WrestleMania 34 Elite, Randy Orton, was dreadful. So that's another thing. But in the past, man, you know, we have seen mess-ups like this before. If you go back to the Ultimate Warrior of the, you know, we're, we're seeing this again in the new From the Vault series, that, that figure. We had already seen this figure multiple times over, and they decided to give it to us again. I think the options, I don't even remember what the options were. I think it was like WrestleMania 6, which won for the 20th time. Survivor Series 1990 was very close in that poll. I think it came in at 37%, and then SummerSlam 89 was the lowest. But I don't know. I think that, you know, some figures, uh, I don't know. It's just people, do you think it's just a bunch of casual people that vote on it, or do you think that this this poll is reaching people that actually collect and, and know what, you know, is, is available and what's not available? I don't know. That's something that we'd have to, what, well, who's the demographic? Who's voting on these things? I don't know. Another one is the Rey Mysterio, the, you know, the SmackDown debut, I think it was, the, the Amazon one. I still don't even own this figure because it's missing so many details. I think this was his debut, or his SmackDown debut in 2002. It's missing like half the gear, man. It's supposed to be the Spider-Man attire. It doesn't even have the Spider-Man graphics on it. So it's basically just a red Rey Mysterio Ultimate, which is fine, I guess. But compared to the other two options, I think I would have preferred having SummerSlam 2022 or the 20th anniversary 2022 and everything like that. And I, I thought for sure that the damn Elimination Chamber 2013 Shield Seth Rollins was going to win the Ultimate Edition vote. I thought for sure that was going to be the case, but it didn't happen. So I don't know. 
I, I, I don't ever have a gauge on these polls. I never know where people's heads are at because of different polls from the past, and it's just a thing. But if I if I could have had it my way, if I could have had it my way like Dan Burger King, Brad, I would have absolutely chose the WrestleMania 23 because now who the hell knows when we're going to get a John Cena in green shorts. It just doesn't happen, man. It doesn't happen. That was kind of like the main thing. But getting a redo of that WrestleMania 34 Elite was the dream, and it did not happen. But the Fan Takeover series kind of has a weird past. There's some figures. There's some really good figures. I think the best Fan Takeover old ultimate they've ever done is probably the Shawn Michaels. I think that one was so good. I think the Rollins from this year was good, even though it's missing the chest hair and the tattoo. Obviously, those are big issues, but I think that that Shawn Michaels is one of my favorite ultimates they've done, the, the, the red and white one, and so I think that that one was really good as well, and I think off of those votes, I think it was what? It was Survivor Series 95, King of the Ring 95, and King of the Ring 96, and King of the Ring 96, 96 only lost by 1%. So it was very, very close. It was a very, very close race. And I think that one, all three of those would have looked good, to be honest with you. I don't think you could have really missed, but I'm glad that we went with the red attire. I think that it stands out just a little bit more, but I don't know. Maybe maybe you feel maybe you feel about the Shawn Michaels Survivor Series 95, how I feel about the WrestleMania 20 John Cena winning. But I'm all for Doctor of Thugonomics John Cena. It's just, man, I don't think this was the spot for it. I think uh, it's going to be missing a lot of details. And ho hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe they, what if they're like, yeah, how about this shish? And they print all the damn logos on there. It's not going to happen. But you know what? We can dream, I guess. But want to get on here, spill it about it. You know, when I have these thoughts, man, I have nobody to take it to. So you guys are the ones that I take it to. I, I come on here, I discuss what my where my head's at, what I'm thinking there, and then we come on here. I mean, there's been other really good fan takeover ones before. You know, we got the hit the switch Christian. I think I, I really wanted WrestleMania 20 in that poll. WrestleMania 20 is all over the damn fan takeover polls. But I think it was an edge and Christian, edge and Christian Christian. You had a hit the switch Christian, and then you had a WrestleMania 20 in the white gear. Damn that. Would have been a great figure. That one should have won, man. I don't care because the the hit the switch Christian was a good figure. I like that elite, but my God, man, you had an opportunity to get the freaking white attire Christian figure. Would have been it would have been immaculate. And that hit the switch Christian, we had pretty much seen an elite eleven, I think, or very close to it. So see, man, not we don't always bat a thousand. Sometimes we miss the mark. But I, I wanted to get on here and talk about it a little bit. Maybe see where your guys are head, heads are at on the fan takeovers because I think it's a really cool line. It's just you really have no control. I feel like my vote doesn't even matter. It's, it's crazy out here, man. And I, I don't even know. I think you can vote unlimited times. I'm not even sure on that. Anyways, man, I want to get on here, rant about the Fan Takeover series, get a little get a little discussion going down in the comment section below. You can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section. I'm sure people are going to say that they prefer this version of John Cena or this figure of John Cena, but I wanted to get on here and discuss it anyway, man, so you can let me know what your thoughts are, and you can drag me down in the comment section. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so very much for everything. You guys are unbelievable. I appreciate Appreciate all of you so very much, but I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed. Let me know your thoughts on the fan takeover series down in the comment section below. Do you think we've? I, I'd like to add up the percentile on where I think we've missed, but I think we. I want to say it's about half and half right now. I want to say we're about 50-50 on it, but maybe I'm wrong. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys in the comment section.